Hi, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, today I would like to share a message about um, something that the Lord has led me to share, I believe. And uh, he led me to Romans chapter 8. Um, I'm just going to read what I wrote down and then I'm also going to read some of the scriptures from Romans chapter 8. And I pray that this uh, message will bless you and encourage you and shine a little light and maybe some darkness that is possibly in your life right now. Um, I pray that this, I prayed that this would be encouragement for the body of Christ. And I pray that this is for his glory and for his kingdom. Um, Jesus Christ is Lord and he um, shed his blood for all sin not just a few here and there and um, we are his creation so this is what I wrote down to live in the flesh is death to live in the flesh to only worry about things of the flesh is death but to live in the spirit is life. We have no condemnation if we are in Christ Jesus, walking after the spirit, not fleshly desires. No condemnation. How can Christ condemn that which he already cleansed with his blood? Think about it. By our faith in that we are saved by his righteous blood our faith in that we are cleansed and live in him and he lives in us we're in the body and the holy spirit leads us now religion you know i'm not downing anyone's beliefs or religions or anything like that but what is taught from the Bible is that the law is is dead and it only can condemn people the law can only point out your sin and what you're doing wrong so religion says that you have to do certain things to maintain your salvation and by that they're just living by the law but we who are in the body of Christ we live by faith he finished the work needed to be done on the cross he said it is finished so now we are living testimonies letting his light shine through us he has a plan for each one of his children and he is pulling all of us home to him on a beam of light his beautiful shining light that shines down he is pulling each one of us and he has a plan for each one of us this is crooked sorry Okay, anyway, I'm going to read out of uh, Romans chapter 8, and it goes like this. There is therefore now no condemnation, okay? I mean, this isn't me saying it. This is the scriptures. This is the Lord saying there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Well, what does that mean? What does it mean to not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit? Do you spend all of your time only thinking about things that your flesh needs or do you spend time thinking about the Lord and 
looking to your eternal salvation, what is going to happen after you die? Um, our spirit is either light or dark. It's either his light shining through us or the world's darkness in us, keeping us grounded and full of um, fleshly desires. So his light pierces that darkness and it reveals the things that are in the darkness inside of us. And that's how he cleanses each one of those things out in his good time. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For me, it surely has made me free because I have left a whole nother person behind. <laughs> I mean, the things that I used to do, it's like, I don't even know that person anymore. Christ living in me has made me a new person. For what the law could not do in that it was weak, the law couldn't do in that it was weak through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and not for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. That in the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So if Christ is in us and he is leading us, we're going to be in tune to the things of the spirit and he is going to guide us to people that need to hear things and um, do things for people that they don't know, they didn't know how they were going to be accomplished, like a, a woman that has children and she had to feed the children and she had no idea how she was going to feed them because she didn't have any money. But God sent you to that person's house and you hand them 50 bucks and you have no idea why, but you obey that still small voice in you and it provides for the woman that needed that. You have to ask him to lead you, to guide you, to show you these things. Ask him, and he will reveal these things to you. Ask him to reveal himself to you. And as he's revealing himself, he's going to reveal that he is love, and that he loves other people, and that he wants that love to be shared. And this is faith in Christ in action. So it makes it works, but it doesn't save us. It doesn't make us holier than thou. It doesn't make us uh, prideful. It makes us humble because we know that Christ lives in us and he is doing his work through us here on earth and that's the way it's going to be when his kingdom comes and his new world his new earth when everything is made new it's going to be so beautiful and we are going to live in peace and harmony with all of creation so God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for listening.